today our topic is liver disease and factor deficiency bleeding disorders bleeding disorders are a group of conditions in which there is a problem with the body's blood clotting process these disorders can lead to heavy and prolonged bleeding after an injury bleeding can also be on its own with no reason bleeding disorder can seen in factor deficiency like factor 2 5, 7, 10, and 12, and liver diseases, and hemophilia A and hemophilia B. Factor deficiency. Normal blood clotting involves as many as 20 different plasma proteins, which are known as blood clotting or coagulation factors. These factors act together with other chemical to form a substance called fibrin that stop bleeding. Problems can occur when certain coagulation factors are low or missing. Bleeding problems can range from mild to severe. So, the causes. Some bleeding disorders are present at birth and are passed through families, inherited. Others developed from illness such as vitamin K deficiency or severe liver disease. Treatments such as the use of drugs to stop blood clots, anticoagulants, or the long-term use of antibiotics. Bleeding disorder can also result from having poorly working or too few of blood cells that promote the clotting platelets. These disorder can also be either inherited or acquired. The side effects of certain drugs often leads to the acquired forms. General symptoms, bleeding into joints, excessive bruising, heavy bleeding, heavy menstrual bleeding, muscle bleeding, mucous membrane bleeding, and epistaxis, which is blood from the nose. Factor 2 and Factor 7 deficiency is a blood clotting coagulation problem that occur when there is a lack of substance, prothrombin, that is needed for blood to clot, inherited and very rare. Most commonly, factor 2 and 7 deficiency is caused by lack of vitamin K due to long-term use of antibiotics or poor absorption, bile duct obstruction, severe liver disease. Symptoms, abnormal bleeding after delivery, abnormal menstrual bleeding, bleeding after surgery, bleeding after trauma, bruising, epistaxis, umbilical cord bleeding at birth. Factor 5 deficiency, it's a condition that is passed through down through families which is affect the ability for the blood to clot factor 5 deficiency is rare it may be caused by a defective factor 5 uh, 5 gene passed down through families which is inherited an antibody that interfere with normal factor 5 function and dysfunctioning it factor 10 deficiency caused by defect of the factor 10 gene that is passed through families or use of medication so it's acquired factor 10 deficiency is common lack of vitamin K amyloidosis and severe liver disease factor 12 deficiency a lack of factor 12 does not cause the affected person to bleed abnormally but the blood takes longer than normal to clot in a test tube rare inherited disorder there are usually no symptoms clotting tests are done for routine screening treatment usually is not needed general treatment factory placement take vitamin k treating liver disease prognosis good prognosis with diagnosis and proper treatment complication long and severe hemorrhage the hemorrhage may also exist in the brain thank you done by uqu student hematology department.